I think I'm much more inclined now to sit back and look at all of my subject matter and consider how or if it could be implemented into a game of some kind. I'd like to begin by being able to implement at least one game into my classroom at least once a week so that my students and I both get into the routine of using games in the classroom and then expand from there. Computer role-playing games can provide students with an alternative to learning in which that they can be engaged and they could immerse themselves into the lesson. One hardship that I can think of is that there are you know, very few students who are creative and outspoken, but with the gaming, it allows everyone the opportunity to not be singled out. You don't have to be outspoken or creative while you're gaming. And since I'm very accustomed to teaching science, it would be simple for me to add these role-playing opportunities because, you know, students can think like scientists. They can become a geologist and discover, and, you know, they can just, they can try to fit the shoes of the scientists. Quest Atlantis is one definite, one game I would definitely put in the classroom um, because the students would get a chance to explore different parts of the earth without even leaving their seats. And not only does you know, Quest Atlantis have many quests for students to explore, but they're also pre-made units that are already aligned with educational standards. Changing my educational delivery to include gaming is something I'm really going to have to work on. I do see the value of gaming as in the role playing. I really thought that that's a very meaningful way for my students to be able to learn the content in a fun, a very fun way instead of boring, read the book, write down the question, answer the question. But to role play, that's when you're involved, you're excited, and all the other people that are in your group, you're interacting with them, you're sharing ideas, you're sharing thoughts, and I believe that a, the synergy created is going to have much more learning valuable learning than just being an individual who's answering questions and pretty much learning through boring ways. I'll likely be able to use Quest Atlantis in teaching some art lessons. There's a good cultural part here. Definitely I'll use Spore. The kids would really get a charge out of creating new creatures. Yesterday, I asked several classes, what video games do they play? They got super excited and were drooling on the carpet. I had to bring in the custodian to shampoo it. No, I'm just joking. But it made me realize, how can we get gaming into education where they'd be that excited, that addicted to learning? I would say that announcements should be posted on the FSO dashboard page. Um, I ended up missing the Quest Atlantis session because I didn't know that the date had changed. So that would be my only thing that I would change in the course. If I could change something, I would change week four. I think it's a little attacked. We have the final project, we have the machinima, we have all those hours to put into World of Warcraft. I know for myself, I really wanted to do well in World of Warcraft, and I spent many hours this week getting to know the game and advancing through the levels, which left me little time to focus on my final project and on the machinima. I really thought about this question for a long time, and I'm still incapable of thinking of something I would change in this class. To me, the texts were very easy to read, and the games were good games, really good um, role-playing examples. Just because I didn't like them all doesn't mean that they weren't good examples. And um, only if the class was longer, we could have gotten more acclimated with gaming and education and, you know, found some really, really, truly good games. But truly, Dr. Siegel, I can't think of anything. You are a great instructor, and I really enjoy GSM. I think the only thing that I would change in the course is to give us some access to all these games earlier in the program. Having a course that's only four weeks long, that's not long enough to be able to 
really fully understand and master all the things that there are to learn. And for the world of Warcraft, imagine if Full Sail could give us a one-year subscription for the games that we're playing. That way I could have been going to the World of Warcraft for all of these months and getting to know the game better, getting to know my character better, getting to know other people from Full Sail better. Dr. Siegel, I wouldn't change a thing. I'm sure you're going to stay on the cutting edge of gaming, and I'm going to hold on to your delicious sight. While World of Warcraft was probably the game that I enjoyed playing on an individual basis the most, um, I really enjoyed the Dungeons and Dragons group session the most out of the course. I think it's just a game that is very much unlike any other game out there. And I had a whole lot of fun playing it, uh, and so that was probably my favorite part of the course. My favorite part of the course is definitely World of Warcraft. I love the fact that we got together and um, the whole class played and that we get to run around for an hour and explore all those new places. Uh, it was the funnest week, it was the most challenging week as well, but it was also the week in which I realized that there's a whole new world of gaming out there that I am not familiar with. My favorite part of the course would have to be the gaming. I never would have thought that I'd be taking a graduate class on how gaming would enhance student achievement, but I was, it was extremely exciting. Gaming allowed me to have fun while learning, and not to mention I have found a new love, Spore. It is the best game ever, and I cannot wait to play. You know, I think my favorite part of the course was when we played in World of Warcraft with everybody from Full Sail. When we were in a large group, I was able to experience more of the game because I wasn't strong enough to just defend myself against everybody. I needed to be into a large group. And then I got to see some potential, some great social skills, some great situations to where, oh my gosh, am I going to have the courage to do what I need to do? Or am I going to let other people fight? I learned more about the game, I think, in the World of Warcraft when we were together as the raid instead of for all of those hours that I spent by myself. My favorite part was watching Dr. Siegel in his rocking chair with his Superfly goggles on just a few days after surgery showing the incredible love he has for gaming. It made an impression on me, and I'll never be the same. From the Wild Elementals team, thank you, Dr. Siegel. Mr. Lova Lova, Lova. Mm. Mr. Lova Lova, Lova. Uh, girl. Mr. Lova Lova, Lova. Mm. Mr. Lova Lova. <laughs> she called me Mr. Bombastic, tell me fantastic. Me on me box, she says I'm Mr. Romantic. Call me fantastic. Touch me on me box, she says I'm Mr. Rose. Smooth, just like a silk. Soft and cuddly, hug me up like a quilt. I'm a lyrical now.